All right, here we're going to start with some 140 denier UTC uh, fluorescent fire orange thread. Dan uses, and that lamp, Dan uses um, 210. I just like 140 denier, it doesn't uh, bulk the fly up as much. Next, we're going to take a pair of large or 4.8 millimeter. Um, Dumbbell eyes in black nickel. When you tie these in, you want to tie them on the top of the hook. I would say just about an eye length, maybe a tad bit longer away from the eyes. The eye of the hook, excuse me. Lay down some wraps, some figure eight wraps. I had to go underneath the hook. And really secure it. Take our thread all the way down. We're going to go down the bend a little bit. Come back up. Take our dubbing in here. And you really do want to be generous here, guys, just from the standpoint that this is going to really flare the legs out. Or the, excuse me, the claws, if we want to get technical here. And put a nice dubbing ball just at the edge. Uh, next, we're going to take our zonker strip and uh, notice how I've cut two V's in there. Just the one end, this makes it easier to tie on. This other end, just, well, I don't know, I like to make a match. <laughs> so these are one and a quarter inch cut. And uh, when you tie them in, you want to make sure that they're evenly on the side. Take this other one, also, once again, cut the same way. Make sure they are as even as possible. I like to pinch them together and kind of lock them down. Really make some tight wraps. I'm going to be using some uh, Crazy Legs in orange with orange black flakes. You can use Life Flex in orange. Tie these on the bottom. They don't have to be even, but um, I like to make them really just tie them in right on top. I'm doubling this over so I can have some bulk. There we go. All right, so next, um, we're going to take a little bit more of this dubbing. I'm 
Whoops, that might be a little bit too much. There we go. Throw on some of this dubbing. We'll come now. There we go. And we're gonna put another nice piece of dubbing right there. And the reason is, oops, we're gonna be taking our epoxy eyes. We're gonna actually flip the fly, yeah, flip the fly over. We want to have these extend. Actually, let me flip it over again to show you. So we want them to extend just so we'll see where the hair is. We want them to just go past that. So I have cut these to roughly about an inch or so. So uh, tie them, make sure they're on the side of the hook. So notice that they're, um, let me get my scissors here. Notice how they're on this side, sitting just butting up against these dumbbell eyes. <clears throat> and secure them down nice and tight. And we will get to them in a second to pull them down and make them more crayfishy. Yeah. There we go. So here, if I can stop getting all these in the way, and if you can actually see, adjust my camera, there we go. So, well, we're going to be taking these, if this stupid rabbit strip would go out of the way, um, take our thread, we're going to go right behind, or I should say in front of, these eyes, a couple of times. Really make them stand out and flare, just like the the um, uh, zonker strips. So the same thing. Oh, come now! I wasn't having this problem with the olive one, of course. This just builds up a nice dam, like I said, to keep them in place. All right, now that that is done, we're going to throw on some uh, zonker strip. So we're going to make actually a, make a dubbing loop here. So take your um, your thread and make it about twice as long, then double it over. Go underneath a couple times, come back up. Doubling loops are amazing. Come back down. I like to rest my thread just around the the eyes and then. Uh, take my bobbin, um, you know what the name is escaping me, the bobbin rest. Stick that right in there. Next we're going to take our orange dubbing again. I notice how I use a, a um, not a paper clip, uh, once again the name is escaping me. These are great for um, <clears throat> taking zonker strips, sticking them inside, and then clipping the 
uh, uh, leather off. So then you can slip this right in the dubbing, or uh, excuse me, the right in the dubbing loop. So actually, my dubbing loop is quite large, which is quite all right. Alrighty. This doesn't need to be perfect, but make sure that uh, it looks all right. Give it a couple good spins. There we go. This is very important. When you you don't want to wrap it and just you know wrap it like this and then you're you're done. You want to palmer the. Um, the uh, hair back. Make sure it's nice and tight. <clears throat> now, when you end your thread, or I should say your dubbing loop, you're going to be about to the hook point. If you're a little bit past it, that's all right. But again, notice how I'm just palmering this the zonger strip back. That is perfect. Excellent. Oops. So we're going to capture this thread back here. Actually, I'm going to advance this forward. A little bit easier to, to capture. Took my scissors and get in there. And my cat is sneezing. That should be good. Really bind that down. You definitely don't want that to come undone. So next we're going to take our um, fire tipped rubber legs in pumpkin and orange. We're going to tie those two on top or actually take one leg and then tie two on top and then two on the bottom. So we're actually going to take my thread here um, so notice how I just took one strand or one piece of the leg. I folded it over uh, in half and cut it. So we're going to actually take the legs and then split them in half again with the uh, thread and just laid these right on top. and bind them down nice and tight. So you should have two legs on either side. Oh, that looks great. All right. Next, we're going to flip it over, do the exact same thing. Try to split these on either side. Which is easier said than done. There we go.
Okay. Take another dubbing loop here. About the same length. Then we're going to throw in our uh, black frosted tip, frosted uh, orange tipped or, uh, soccer strip. Still, again, once again, cut at the hide, and then we're going to wrap it up. Let's see, where's my whip finisher? There it is. Okay. Sometimes you really have to open this up Oops. and just let go. I'm being a perfectionist here. Which isn't a bad thing. Stroke the fibers back. So you should have just enough to cover it all. There's actually a stray piece of zonker strip in there. One. Should have done this more professionally. Oh well, it'll it still looks good. So I'll uh, I'll take it over the eyes and bind it down. Then cut it off. Leave a tad bit of a tag end, so you don't want that to come loose. And then I'll come under the eyes and do that. Okay. Uh, trying to decide. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we're going to take a little bit of our frosted tipped. Zonker strip. We're going to make a dubbing out of it. But first, before I get ahead of myself, I want to comb everything down. And pull some fibers back, stroking down. So you're left with a little, little cowlick. So then, 
take our scissors ever so carefully. Very careful here because you can snip the legs and also the thread. But uh, oops. Take some of my clear cure goo tack free. I like to use tack free instead of hydro. So because it doesn't flow as much. Uh, let's get a This makes it a little bit more durable. Really get it in there. Also try to not get it too much behind the eyes because you know throw your dubbing behind them. Alright, nothing's in the way. Let's take this. Just enough room. Oh man, that looks great. Okay, so like I said, take a little bit of your, well, might as well just cut it off. Take a little bit of your frosted tip zonker strip. it's nice and tight. Then take a small, very small bit of the uh, orange. Lay that down just on top. There we go. Some tight wraps, fold that across there. Do some whip finishes. There we go. Throw it off and then use some. Hydro, clear cure goo. We're gonna hit, if we can, ever so carefully. Final step 
is to clip your antenna just a hair past the uh, the tips of the the claws. That's the meatwad people. Great fly. And uh, good for bass, good for for carp. Good fly all around.